where where do you expand beyond this? Because you know, taking Baghdad, Edessa, Aleppo, Antioch, and then these surrounding areas right here, that's obviously your first goal. But that's not going to be you're not going to be strong enough just taking that. You're going to need to take more territory. So. The thing is, like, you can push up into here, but so does Russia. Russia has to get into here, too. Yeah, um, Russia. Russia's going to have the problem of having quite a few t small, or sorry, quite a few very massive territories, but not huge numbers of them. Um, I, I, the issue with Turkey is usually, if I was, if you were playing a single cam player campaign as Turkey, you'd expand into all the rebel settlements. You would do something probably nice to Egypt to make sure they don't attack you, and then you'd go over and slaughter the Byzantines, and then you'd go down deal with the Egyptians maybe, and then you'd kind of work it from there. However, given that we're all being friendly, <laughs> unless I was going to be a complete and utter asshole that wouldn't work <laughs> so I think what we're going to have to do is just accept that we're not going to have the perfect massive territories and everything isn't going to be brilliant and actually have a very strong core of cities so you know my expansion would stop at is that Tabilaza? I can't read that from here but the northernmost mountainous territory um, for the Turks and then maybe expand a little bit to um, I think there's a territory next to the Byzantines um, um, I, I think you're a little bit south I think you're setting your sights too small my friend uh, honestly if I think on it and I know you haven't faced the Golden Horde before but if that's all the territory you hold you ain't gonna stand a chance that's uh, it depends how strong the specific territories are because you can get you can get towns to be very not especially in terms of trade. The the time it takes to build up the towns and and you you guys are much better than this and Dantos can probably add weight to one side or the other. But in my exp in in my line of thinking, if we're gonna have a chance to do this, we literally need to between the four of us control at least half the campaign map and the resources of it, because we're not talking about just surviving against the Golden Horde. We're talking about slaughtering them and anyone that shows up with 12,000 plus units you 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 do know how expensive it is to field an army that's even comparable to that mm, I'm, I'm well aware of that yeah <laughs> and that's and that's in addition to uh, all the other forces that we need just to maintain what we're holding uh, I would say that obviously you you have your short-term goals already very obviously in front of you but maybe it was something yeah. like um, just just take enough territory up here past the mountains to enable you to then push into like say the lower west what yeah that I, actually that was gonna what I was gonna go on to in a second while as you were saying that was actually building up maybe a core of cities in Turkey itself but then taking a navy with a, maybe an army or two on it and I don't know maybe we could all make a concerted push into the west you know, maybe taking, I don't know, it, it, taking over Italy, taking over the Iberian Peninsula. If that's the case, controlling the Mediterranean completely would give us massive trade rights. It would give us, you know, things to fall back to. It would give us additional production areas. But it would make everybody incredibly angry with us. Oh, who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yeah, you could do something like that. You could take all this area and then um, just take a boat over down to... Um you know, we're hungry in Poland is <laughs> and start yeah, pushing or even to Italy. Yeah. Pushing west. Uh, I mean I'm gonna be pushing west. I'm gonna go all the way up take out the Moors and if that goes well, just push up into Spain. I mean Spain's a very rich, rich territory uh, land. It is. It is, yeah. Um and then now the Byzantines, what would you do? Uh I mean like what would be your goals to expand? Obviously you could take all the islands uh push into Italy maybe I don't know I've never played Byzantine so uh, in this camp in this game so then I've never really extensively played them myself so I guess take out Venice take out uh, Hungary and Poland it would be really any opportunity that I could get in terms of push to the west. Well, my uh, my thinking the reason the only reason why I'm trying to get so specific on this is because um, I don't know how many planning sessions we're going to have together, which of course, you know what I, I'll do is I'll, I'll put a thread up on the forum for us just to, to plan. 
Um, but, you know, we don't want to be stepping on each other's toes. We don't want to be taking territory that Russia was planning on taking. So I'm, no. I'm trying to establish very specifically, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go for these guys, and then that way, all that's yours for the taking. Um, okay. If, if, if we're doing that, then Russia is going to have a f not as, certainly not as many territories as the rest of us are going to have. The territories are massive, and there aren't very many of them. So Russia's going to want to push down towards Denmark, towards Poland, towards Hungary even. The Byzantines natural expansion is towards Venice and towards Italy because Venice starts off being pretty unpleasant towards them and that is a natural expansion for them. Natural expansion for Egypt would certainly be across the Moors and into um, the Iberian Peninsula. For Turkey a single player expansion would be into the Byzantines, into the Egyptians, into the Russians even if they come down that far, which given that we're all playing together isn't going to be possible. So something like expanding, for me, expanding into the south of France, possibly taking um, France over, we may end up expanding into the Holy Roman Empire. But it would be less amazing, certainly, but... Well, why, don't, why, why, why not do something like that? Because that's going to be really long supply lines for you uh, to try and hold mm. invasions. What about just uh, invade across the Black Sea into, um, what is this, Hungary right here? Because that's um, a natural expansion more for Byzantines and Russians. Right, but what we could say is, you know, you... you I mean, because theoretically the Byzantines could concentrate on, say, Italy and southern France, and Russia could concentrate on the upper sections like Denmark, Scandinavia, um, and then yeah, the rebels true. to the west or to the east. And then you could kind of take the middle ground and concentrate on maybe Hungary. Like for example, if you take a look at the the colors too, like Russia could take the white guys. I guess that's Poland. Yeah, that's Poland. And the rebels, and then push up in the Denmark. Whereas you could, after you conquer all this area, go across the Black Sea and go to the southern parts, take Hungary, maybe push into the Holy Roman Empire, while the Byzantines ca concentrate on uh, Italy and France, and I concentrate on the Iberian Peninsula. Yeah, that that, that actually sounds pretty pretty reasonable. And then we'd have stuff that's actually connected to our um, ma major provinces. Yeah, that that sounds pretty good. What do you think, Dantos? Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to do. That works for me. Ah, uh, it'd be so nice because <laughs> the only way, place I have to worry about people attacking me is from my west. <laughs> yeah. And the odd and and once we get a hold of, but I do agree with you. If we do this, I think it would be beneficial for every faction, for all of us, to just take complete dominance of the Mediterranean. Yeah. And then I I, dominance of the Mediterranean, dominance of the um, seas generally would be pretty pretty handy. I know we won't, probably won't be able to expand up towards um, England and some of the north Euro northern European coastal. Well, we areas. have uh, we have a. Uh, it's 1080. One turn is two years, correct? Is it? Uh, let me check. Yeah, this. but we we can add all of those if you like. We can well, add the start date, the, the end dates, the turns th and stuff. My fear with that is though, I've heard if you if you edit the start dates and stuff. The uh, like the times when the Mongolian Golden Horde comes might not be the same. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I've never really tested that, so so yeah, maybe possibly. Yeah. So maybe we should just leave I thought, it. Um, each turn was six months. Let me see. Okay, it's ten eighty. Because, because it takes you, it takes you from summer into winter. No, no, no that, it's, it's ten eighty. Because each then... turn in. Let's take each, each turn in Napoleon would because is each turn in Napoleon is a season, so it goes from spring, summer, autumn. No, winter. I was playing it earlier that today. I'm pretty sure it's two years. Right. Yeah, but I think it's two. If that was the original intention, I think that it would be um, half a year. But for some reason, I decided to make it two years. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, hurry the up, general France! General still age on you then, I think. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> um. Okay, so we kind of have a general idea of our factions and where we want to go with them. Um, uh, and then I'll, what I'll probably do from you guys is get, over probably through the forums, tips on how to best build up my... Because I, I know the basics. I know the general, you know, how to build up your empire and 
castles you want to concentrate on, military, cities you want to concentrate on making money, that kind of thing. Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh... Uh... So I, I'm trying to... the specifics of that. Right, I'm trying to get through all of these. Because we turned Fog of War off, now we got to watch everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Do their uh, stuff. I think it's... Can you um, get to the menu from when everybody's changing their turns? I can't remember if you can do that. No, you can't do anything. But well, you can hit. Yeah, you can do that. If if you go if you do options and then um, uh... turn off show CPU moves, it'll just take it through everything very quickly. There we go. Thank you. At least it should do. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Um. Yeah, 1082. Okay, so it's two. It's two. Two, two years. Two years. Yeah. So it's oh. two years. So it starts in 1080. So we have uh, what 1180. So at least 130 turns. I mean 130 years, yep. which would be um, uh, 65 turns. Yep. So 65 turns is decent. It's okay. It's <laughs> it's not great, but uh, I'm sure we can do something useful in in that time. Yeah, I mean, like I I don't know if we'll be, I don't know, like if 65 turns if I'll be expanded up into the Iberian Peninsula and and all that stuff we talked about. But on the other hand, with four of us working together, because you got to remember that you're you advance much slower because you have to worry about threats from all sides. And yeah. for example, Egypt. If this is a solo campaign, I'd have to worry about constantly defending my border with Turkey. Now I don't have to worry about that. That's a whole bunch of resources I can just throw into the Western Front. Yeah. So and I also, you would have to be less concerned about stuff like Crusades if we're assisting you, because we can just send our armies down there to defend while you bring whatever it is you want to bring back, or even just take over the defense of it completely. So, you know, if we don't have, if you don't have, or a specific faction doesn't have armies in that area, and we do, then, you know, because we're allies and because we're all working for the same goal, there's great incentive to <laughs> help and not laugh. <laughs> right. Um, well, the, they may be in a Byzantine assassin roam around uh, Rome, just in case, if you know what I mean. I, mm, that, 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 I think I think that's a vile, disgusting thing to do, and I don't think you should say anything about it. <laughs> um, they're saying that two years is unusual. I chose the long campaign, so maybe that's the difference. That I chose long, so it's two years instead of six months. Well, see, but here's the thing. Let's say the short campaign is six months. That means that it would be, gosh, uh, what, 130 turns uh, years times two? So it would be like 260 turns before the Mongols arrived. If we're yeah. doing two or three turns a week, do you have any idea how long that would be before the Mongols arrived? I don't want to think about it, but it, but it would give us a lot of time to build up. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, but it would also be like two years before this Let's Play got to the main purpose of the Let's Play. <laughs> well, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's let's stick with the with the long campaign and the shorter build up time, and that'll just be part of the challenge. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 If it was short, it would have been two years per turn. Huh? It's two yeah. per year. Normally, um, I, I honestly don't. I honestly don't know. I, my original thought was that it was half a uh, six months per turn. That is why I thought it was, but I don't know. Oh, I guess that's what they're saying is that the short campaign actually speeds it up. That's why it's called the short campaign. Yeah, I thought it was called the short campaign because it was a lot. Because it, you had um, fewer victory conditions, but I thought so too. Hang on, let's let's uh, where well, I can find out. But that being the case, honestly, um, while I would love the extra time to build up, six months. I mean, what? Let's say we do even three sessions a week. Then that would take what's what's two hundred and uh, sixty. Divided by three. That's still 26, 24, 8, 80 weeks. Yeah, that's like a bit a more than eight. It'd be more than that, but about eighty weeks. That's over a year and a half. 
<laughs> um, yeah. I, I'm all for long running let's plays, but that's a bit of a build up time. <laughs> so I think maybe we should stick with the two years. We won't be as prepared, but that can be, you know what? We are doing this with four people, four factions against yeah, the Golden right. Horde. So uh, let's yeah. try. Um, just so we know. Okay, so no, it was on long campaign. Hmm. Long campaign, Egypt. Okay, well, it, 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 it's not hugely important. What are the victory conditions, just out of interest, for our nations? In I know it's not hugely important, but uh, Egypt interest, is hold forty-five regions, including Constantinople and Jerusalem. Uh, Turkish is Turkey is uh, doing uh, their stuff. I think is. Can you um get to the menu from when everybody's changing their turns? I can't remember if you can do that. No, you can't do anything. But well, you can hit. Yeah, you can do that. If if you go if you do options and then. Um, uh, turn off show CPU moves. It'll just take it through everything very quickly. There we go. Thank you. At least it should do. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, um... Yeah, 1082. Okay, so it's two, it's two, two, two years. Two years. Yeah. So, it's oh. two years, so it starts in 1080, so we have, uh, what, 1180, so at least... 130 turns. I mean, 130 years, yep. which would be um, uh, 65 turns. Yep. So 65 turns is decent. It's okay. It's <laughs> it's not great, but I'm sure we can do something useful in in that time. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know if we'll, I don't know, like, if 65 turns, if I'll be expanded up into the Iberian Peninsula and, and all that stuff we talked about. But, on the other hand, with four of us working together, because you got to remember that you're, you advance much slower because you have to worry about threats from all sides. And, yeah. for example, Egypt, if this is a solo campaign, I'd have to worry about constantly defending my border with Turkey. Now I don't have to worry about that. That's a whole bunch of resources I can just throw into the Western Front. Yeah. So and I also, you would have to be less concerned about stuff like crusades if we're assisting you, because we can just send our armies down there to defend while you bring whatever it is you want to bring back, or even just take over the defense of it completely. So, you know, if we don't have, if you don't have, or a specific faction doesn't have armies in that area, and we do, then, you know, because we're allies and because we're all working for the same goal, there's great incentive to <laughs> help and not laugh. <laughs> right. Um, well, the, they may be in a Byzantine assassin roam around uh, Rome, just in case, if you know what I mean. I, mm, that, 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 I, I, think, I think that's a vile, disgusting thing to do, and I don't think you should <laughs> say anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're saying that two years is unusual. I chose the long campaign, so maybe that's the difference, that I chose long, so it's two years instead of six months. Well, see, but here's the thing. Let's say the short campaign is six months. That means that it would be, gosh, uh, what, 130 turns, uh, years times two. So it would be like 260 turns before the Mongols arrived. If we're yeah. doing two or three turns a week, do you have any idea how long that would be before the Mongols arrived? I don't want to think about it, but it, but it would give us a lot of time to build up. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, but it would also be like two years before this Let's Play got to the main purpose of the Let's Play. <laughs> well, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's let's stick with the with the long campaign and the shorter build up time, and that'll just be part of the challenge. Wait 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 what 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 what? If it was short, it would have been two years per turn. Huh? It's two yeah. per year. Normally, um, I, I honestly don't I honestly don't know. I my original thought was that it was half a uh, six months per turn. That is why I thought it was, but I don't know. Oh, I guess that's what they're saying, is that the short campaign actually speeds it up. That's why it's called the short campaign. Yeah. I thought it was called the short campaign because it was a lot... Because it, you had um, fewer victory conditions, but... I thought so, too. Hang on, let's... let's uh, I can find out. But, that being the case, honestly, um, while I would love the extra time to build up, six months I mean what let's say we do even three sessions a week then that would take what's what's 260 
divided by three. That's still... 26, 24, 8, 80 weeks? Yeah, that's like... A, more than eight, it'd be more than that, but about 80 weeks. That's over a year and a half. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I'm all for long-running Let's Plays, but that's a bit of a build-up time. <laughs> so, I think maybe we should stick with the two years. We won't be as prepared, but that can be... You know what? We are doing this with four people. Four factions against yeah, the Golden right. Horde, so... Uh, let's yeah. try... Um, just so we know... Okay, so... No! It was on Long Campaign. Hmm. Long Campaign, Egypt... Okay, well, it, 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 it's not hugely important. What are the victory conditions, just out of interest, for our nations? In I know it's not hugely important, but uh, Egypt interest, is hold 45 regions, including Constantinople Dr and Jerusalem. Uh, Turkish is Turkey is uh, same thing, Constantinople right. and Jerusalem. Uh, Russia is same thing, and Byzantine, Rome and Jerusalem. Okay, the reason I was asking that was because if one of us wins the game um, while we're doing that, that could be a little bit inconvenient. Oh, because the game would stop? No, can't you keep going? Can you? I, I don't know. I've never actually finished it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, just, you, just, you, you just, you just, <laughs> it says, you've completed it, you're fantastic. Good job. Do you want to keep going? I already knew that. <laughs> um, in terms of the victory conditions as well, we can also edit them. So if you wanted something like, say for example, um, in the short campaign, uh, some of them have like, for example, uh, eliminate you, Venice from Milan. Can you we actually make it like say, stop the Golden Horde? Eliminate Mongols. We could we could say eliminate the Mongol faction. The problem is yeah. though, I don't know if, say if we killed them all um, without the next wave arriving type of thing, I don't know if, if, if the game would finish or... Uh, uh, or it would know, even stop. Like, but <laughs> yeah, do, do they come in waves? I thought they all show up in one turn. Oh, I don't know then. I think oh, maybe, maybe I've just. Well, maybe wait, maybe two turns. But like literally, it's one or two turns. They're there. It's like they're mm, not there, yeah, yeah. and then they're there. <laughs> and it's right. like, oh hi there, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we we could try it then. The uh, eliminate the Mongols and. Either the campaign will end on the first turn because they don't exist, or you know, nah. we should be able to. You know what? Let's let's not let's not worry about it because even if someone wins somehow, then so what? You just keep on going. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, so sorry, that was that was that was my that was my mind not working properly. So uh, <laughs> basically, we'll have at least sixty-five. Wait, no, at least uh, what it was yeah, sixty-five turns. Um, mm -hmm. so 65 turns, I think with four people, we, we could do this. Uh, we just have to be really, and it's just going to be part of the challenge. We have to be really efficient. Um. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I've always wondered, the allow military access, access in, in your land, what does that even do? Because I have armies marching through my land all the time that's not mine. And from what I understand, when you allow someone military access, if you ever noticed when you maybe run through someone's land, it says your relations decreased. Uh, that's the only reason why. But then when uh, your relations decrease, so does your reputation, and then people are less likely to ally with you and trust you. And ah, uh, okay, stuff yes. like that. In Rome, it was really useful because you couldn't enter someone's land without military access or war with them. Um, and it. it it changed slightly in medieval, I think. And then you know what we can do after uh, after we uh, gloriously beat the golden horde is we can Come try and huh? no 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 if we're still into the let's play timurids. yeah we can oh. just set up for the timurids again because they're even bigger <laughs> right I am oh, correct right? they're even bigger than the golden horde what I no, think so Rebel, go on game uh, facts game FAQs and look at one of the, the first, uh, the timeline for one of the, the walkthroughs, and it says the Golden Horde, the second worst nightmare, and then the Timurids, oh dear god, what the, this is the first nightmare, and then we can go to America to escape the Timurids. Yeah, the, uh, yeah the, the Golden Horde shows up in the 1200s, and then I think not even a hundred years later the Timurids come on, um, and they're, they're at least as big as the Golden Horde. <laughs> oh, they have uh, cannons with. Uh, they have elephants with cannons on. Yeah, they got elephants. What? 
<laughs> good times, good times. Yeah, the, the thing with the Golden Horde, the Golden Horde, is that not just that their numbers of troops, but their quality of troops are so freaking good. And they love to fight like the Mongols did. They, uh, like, every unit is an archer. Even their infantry is an archery unit. It's crazy. And so what they love to do, and they have so many of their horse archers, so they love to just, uh, get close, pelt you with arrows, and then run away. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't like to get into solid fights, which is very realistic uh, as no, to what they really like to do. But it's a pain in the butt. Well, according to Galagoth, the uh, Golden Horde is a very easy one to kill. Uh, personally, um, I don't like horse armies. <laughs> no? The Golden, the Golden Horde may be... Okay, the Golden Horde is, is, is easy to contend with, but it's not easy to wipe out before they get a foothold. Mm. I have never heard of anyone doing that, of being able to field enough troops to wipe out the Horde. I've Sure, I've defeated, I've defeated the Golden Horde faction tons of times after they settled down. <laughs> you know? I, at best, I've managed to um, keep them from pushing too far into my borders, but I've never managed to just, just defeat the Horde outright. Alright, uh, okay. Um, yeah, and the Timurids are even harder, so... Good job! Yay! Uh, I was intending to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so, so we pretty much got that. Uh, one more thing I think we should ask is, um, do you guys want to do any sort of mods? Now, I know there's, I forget the names of them, but I know there's a couple mods out there that, like, improve the computer AI so that they don't, uh, one of the biggest problems I always had, and there's supposed to be one that, uh, fixes it, where they'll send a stack of, like, two units to attack your fully defended city. And it's just ridiculous and stupid. And there's supposed to be like mods that will improve the AI so that they don't attack until they have a decent sized force. That kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I've I've never had a huge problem with the AI in Medieval 2, and I'm not keen on mods. So my vote is for no. But and if if you if you guys think it's it would improve what we're doing, then I'll take a week to download something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I've, I've uh, on hard. I've certainly never had a problem with with uh, getting my ass handed to me with the AI. So I, I mean, it, it, it does do some pretty thick things. However, you know, if someone if two units besiege a town and you come out and kill them, they've still besieged your town for a turn, and so you've lost some um, men, you've lost some income, you lost some production. Wait, wait, so. wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the chat and what people are saying. Galgoth saying stakes and cannon towers game over. Um. Do you even have gunpowder when they arrive? I don't know. I, I think I remember the last time the Golden Horde showed up in 12 whatever gunpowder. No one had gunpowder units, so no cannon towers. I don't know. I don't know exactly when gunpowder shows up again, but I know it's recently enough that, you know, even if we have gunpowder, we're not going to have every city outfitted with cannon towers in time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've, I've I've never actually played Medieval Two that extensively. I um, can, I well, it's, it should be, it should be easy enough to look up. We can just type in when gunpowder shows up. Hang on. Um, because I think that's actually a set year. All right. Uh, you get certain buildings that give you the like the alchemists thing. I can't remember. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think they give they give a bonus to. Um, Gunpowder unit attack, I think. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Thirteen forty. Thirteen forty is when you get gunpowder. Yeah, and it says the Mongols roughly twelve forty, and the guys got it listed as on game facts, but you know, you see it well, say you can I, I I seriously would not put much credence into that because the last time I played, I know they they showed up around twelve fourteen. So, um, because I because I remember oh, yeah. I remember that because I was like, what the hell? <laughs> it's not. But uh, yeah, so so if gunpowder doesn't come in till the 1300s, it's going to be of absolutely no use to us. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, that, that, black not... death. I forgot about the black death as well. What? Sorry. Yeah, the plague. You get the plague. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that has to be modded, Light Earth, because like, they're saying he saw someone that get cannon towers by then, but that had to have been modded, because you don't get gunpowder until the 1300s. So, and the Mongol Horde's going to show up sometime in the 1200s. 
No, wait, 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 wait. You said 13 what? Sorry, uh, Mongols 12, 14. We roughly know that, and then gunpowder 13, 14. Okay, so it's in the 14th century. Yeah. Huh. And the Timurids, a little bit after that as well. Not too long. 1360. Oh. Well, 1360. Well, so that would give us like another 100 turns to rebuild <laughs> from the Golden <laughs> Horde. <laughs> oh. oh, yay. Squee, I think you've thrown us into the deep end. <laughs> I hope so. That's why there's four of us, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so well, I'm fine not doing any AI unless you guys think there's anything that you really hate that a mod fixes. No. <laughs> I did. I've never had any problems with with the medi with the total war games my, in terms my, of AI. The stuff. only problem I've always had, and this is just, uh, uh, I mean, it's there for game balancing reasons. I hate how slow they move, like their distance. Yeah, that, that annoys me. But it I sucks. think in two years you'd probably be able to transverse the length of Italy. I, yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. care how slow you move. And, and well, yeah, and you do like third age where you can travel like four times the distance they travel yeah, in this game. It's, yeah. a, it's a big shock. It's a big shock when you get back into. But I'm wondering if we, even if we found a mod that, that changed that, do you think that would really upset the balance of the game, or? I don't think it would upset the balance of the game. It might make our lives a little bit easier, but again, I'm not keen on modding my games unless Alrighty. you know. No, that's fine. For third Angel, so. So okay, so let's let's so we got um. I'll be Egypt. You will be Turkish. Dantos, you'll be the Byzantines. We'll give Inferno mm. Russia. He should. Uh, should be all right with that. Uh, who wants to do Inferno's turns while uh, f it should only be for a week or so? So maybe two or three I, turns. I really don't. I really don't mind. What it could be is um, the person who has their turn either um, Inferno's turn either after theirs or before theirs. I yeah. think um, if if it goes in order of the shields, it would be um, Dantos, Inferno, you, and me. Okay. In which case, we also won't have any issues with setting up the game because Dantos can do that for us. <laughs> right. <laughs> be fantastic. It's easy enough. And uh, if you guys want to start this week, you guys could just uh, do your turns and then hand it to me on Thursday. And mm -hmm. then yeah. Um, why don't we we could do that? We could shoot for like two turns a week, like you guys do. Uh, get it, like yours done. You know, Sunday, Monday, whatever. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll do a session on Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday. You guys do it, and then I'll get it back Sunday and do it Sunday. I think we could do that if you guys can have the time. Yeah, sure. Especially, sure, yeah. especially at the start. I mean, God, what your first turn is going to be five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> Unless you're doing a lot of battles, yeah. Yeah. Um. The the only thing, the only problem I may end up having is I've got exams in January, and I have got revision and stuff to do. Over wor Christmas wor and worst comes starting. to worst, the the brilliant part about a hot seat campaign like this is if something like that happens, we can just do what we're doing with Inferno and have someone shoulder Indeed. the load for a little while. Indeed. And then, um, yeah. So, that's the plan. This is, uh, this is, uh, been a, a rather long planning session, but, uh, who cares? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's been fun. <laughs> so, um, and then, maybe every once in a while we'll get another planning session like this, but I think most of what we need to do, we can do on the forums. Yeah, as uh, far as planning. I, I agree with that. And then, um, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys uh, tune into the Let's Play. Uh, let's put this out there first and foremost, because I have enough experience to know this happens a lot. I love that you guys want to watch this and you're excited, but I also know that this game in particular draws a lot of picture, uh, people that if you don't do it my way, you're doing it the wrong way. Yeah. Um, if you want to give me advice on how to fight a battle, build a city, all that stuff, fantastic. Give advice. Advice is fine. But if you're going to just sit there and go, oh, you screwed this up so bad, or, oh, you should have done this, you're so dumb, just don't. 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 <laughs> okay? I, 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 would, I would echo that, and there's always the threatening of the um, blocky button. Yes, so. I, I was I was telling poor Dantos I was like because you know he's just starting the let's plays and, and Baldur's Gate you're gonna get <laughs> such great commenters because the people who love Baldur's Gate are such a great crowd and yeah. then you get this one which is like a troll magnet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because is there something about this that it's like and it's almost always the battles you know that yes, it's yes. like it's like you should have had this unit guard there that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, you do you do get a lot of that. Right? 
it is a, it is a risk. It just just ignore people. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> it, 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 oh. Hmm? Oh no! I was saying so. Um, I guess that'll conclude <laughs> this, and then, uh, like I said, we'll start this soon, and then we'll upload individual turns to everyone's channel, and then I'll put them into the uh, playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Woo! -hoo. Yay! No backstabbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you saw through my very unfunny and unobvious plan. It's like, Rebel, yes. Why is there a giant army on Jerusalem? What, I'm a... I'm... I'm attacking the Polans. Yeah. Rebel. <laughs> There's no Polish here. You, I'm attacking there, London. There yeah. could be. <laughs> there might be one day. <laughs> I'm being prepared. <laughs> In case they <laughs> launch a massive invasion fleet from their landlocked territories. <laughs> yeah, it's controlled by Russia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>